Okay, so every one of your training sessions here at CrossFit Sandpoint will be organized around the whiteboard. Um, and I'd like to get into how you should read this and um, interpret what's, what's written up there. As you get started, this is all going to seem like a foreign language. Um, and just, you know, just know that through some time uh, and hopefully through this video that you'll comprehend it uh, much, much better. So from start to finish, everything is organized through here. So your day is going to start off with a warm up. Um, that'll be specific to uh, the workout and what we're doing for that day. It's usually a couple of rounds uh, of some simpler type movements that will get you primed and ready to do what's next on the agenda. And following that, you'll have some A's, some B's, some C's, some maybe some D's. Um, just depending on the day, you may have um, some 1's and 2's and 3's next to those letters. So in this, what that means and how you should interpret that is that you will do all of the A work before you move on to the B work in sequential order. So, you know, if there's an A1, a 2, and a 3, as there is in this example, you'll do A1, A2, A3, A1, A2, A3, A1, A1, A2, A3, in that order. Um, the way this is listed here is the movement, then the tempo, the re uh, I'm sorry, the sets, the reps, and the rest. I'll get into some of the specifics of that stuff uh, in, a, in, a, in an upcoming video. But just know what I want you to take away from this one is that there's three sets of uh, back squats, three sets of pull-ups, three sets of planks. So you'll do the way that would then uh, look in context is a set of back squats, a set of pull-ups, a set of planks. A set of back squats, a set of pull-ups, a set of planks. A set of back squats, a set of pull-ups, a set of planks for a total of three sets. And then you'll move on uh, to the B work. If there's a B1 and a B2, you follow that same kind of structure. You do B1, B2, B1, B2, B1, B2, and alter through, alternate through those. Um, then for, so in, in generally in our gym, the A work is corresponding to the strength or skill work for the day, and the B work, or the final, I should say, I guess, uh, the final number, the final letter is corresponding with the conditioning work. So in this case, that's B, and that's our conditioning um, for the day. And that is three rounds of 10 thrusters, 10 pull-ups, and a 400 meter run. Within, uh, next to this movement, the thruster, there's, there's numbers in parentheses, and that corresponds to the prescribed weight for males and for females for this movement. So a thruster is a barbell movement, and for males, they're gonna use uh, 95 pounds, and for females, they're gonna use 65 pounds. Um, and that's our suggested for, that's programmed for our, our better, our best athletes. That's what they should be using. Um, your coaches in that daily session will be kind of, they'll be giving you some good guidelines on how to choose your weight if this isn't within your wheelhouse. Um, so for this workout, it's three rounds, 10 thrusters at 95 or 65, 10 pull-ups, and a 400 meter run. Um, next to that or below that or somewhere else on the board, you're going to see a series of names. Your name may be in that group um, and some times or points or however that this B work or whatever the final session of the day is quantified. Um, and then next, so that means that's how long that it took these people to finish this workout. So Kenny took 11 minutes, James took 12 minutes, and Alex took 15 minutes. And then next to their times, there is a notation. So Kenny's got a RX notation. James has 75. Alex has 65. Green band and row. And what that means is how they modified or scaled that workout uh, for them for that day. So what the RX means is that he that Kenny did it exactly as it was written on the board. So he did the 10 thrusters. Assuming he's a male, he did 95 pounds. He did 10 pull-ups and he did a 400 meter run. James scaled the thrusters to 75 pounds and Alex. Uh, scaled the weight, the thruster weight to 65 pounds. He did pull-ups with a green band and he did a row instead of a run. So as far as the scoring stuff goes, what you should take away from this and, and, and move forward with is that although, you know, there's a ton of times and names on the board and it's a little intimidating to put yours up there, um, just know that there, I think it's important to, not necessarily from a competitive sense or from a sense that we're like anyone's judging you, a, I can tell you one, that nobody cares about your time, and B, if they do, who cares if they care? Um, but it does provide you with some, it provides everybody else, the more times and more information that we have up on the board, the more it helps out the later classes, and the more it helps me and your coaches kind of give some, some guidelines and parameters for the upcoming classes. Um, you know, as you, gotta, as you work through and move and progress, 
you kind of know where you're going to fall in these groups and where you know what you should, what weight if so if somebody was in the class before you and they use a weight and you know that you guys are similar in strength and similar in capability gives you some guidelines and some some data to kind of move from uh, for the workout and it also gives you a bit of a benchmark for how you should push yourself through that workout so you know it's not like we're giving out trophies or, or doing awards presentations after every day or or that anybody even really pays all that much attention as soon as the session's over but it is I think a good thing um, to put those scores and, and information on the board for everybody um, that really just about sums it up I'm sure there's some other intricacies that I'll get into in further in upcoming videos um, but if you have any questions please please comment or uh, shoot me an email at kenny at crossfitsandpoint.com